Hey, how's it going? My name is Shu. So I've tried many AI tools before, but this one might be the one that saves me the most time. JS AI is like your personal agent that manages your emails and messages for you. It not only writes replies in your style, but actually understands the full context of your conversations, including attachment, Slack messages, and even your Notion documents. But what makes it truly different from other AI tools is it works 24 seven. Even when you are asleep, it works quietly in the background, learning your writing style and preparing drafts before you even open your inbox. I've been testing it for a while now and the results have been really impressive. So I'm really happy they offered to sponsor us today. Let me show you how it works and whether it's worth trying. So when I first set it up, I was a little skeptical and hesitant because I didn't want anything to mess up my email workflow, but it was actually really easy. I just have to connect my Gmail and that was it. And now that I've been using it for a while, it's hard to go back to handling emails without it. What I love most about it is that it drafts replies automatically for you. Um, that means every morning when I open my inbox, I find draft responses already waiting for me, um, written like how I would write them. Um, now I can just hit send or make some adjustments if necessary. But usually I don't even have to make any changes because Jace understands how I typically reply to emails as well as my schedule and the context such as my preferred time to have a meeting. And since Jace is directly integrated into Gmail, you can access the drafts via your Gmail app too. And then what surprised me a lot was that it can even read what's inside the attachment. So if somebody sends you a contract or PDF guide, Jace can have a look at it and use that as context when drafting replies, which was really, really impressive for me. And there is this intelligent labeling system. Instead of manually sorting through hundreds of emails, Jace automatically categorizes everything based on content and context. Um, for example, I made this label so that it recognizes when emails are related to my photography business and automatically labels them accordingly. Um, this way, I can just go to this label to see only the photography related emails. And it's really easy to create custom labels like this. Um, you just need to tell Jace what kind of emails you wanted to collect for each label. Um, this is very handy, especially when you're dealing with multiple projects. Um, you can tell Jace something like create a label for invoice related emails and it will start analyzing incoming emails and collect ones with invoices into that label automatically. But by default, it comes with labels like promotions um, so that your inbox is free of annoying marketing emails. Now, the scheduling feature have been a huge time saver as well. When there is a mention of a meeting, Jace can detect that and suggest a calendar event automatically. All the details are already set by Jace, so you just need to hit create. And speaking of meetings, I also love that when someone asks about my availability, Jace can check my schedule, um, considers my preferred meeting hours and suggest times. Uh, but to be honest, I prefer to have no meetings at all, if possible, uh, mostly because I live in Tokyo and there's always a massive time difference. So I told Jace to avoid meetings and do it via emails instead when drafting responses. Oh, speaking of, this is actually another thing I love about this tool. You can fine tune how it behaves and crafts emails using rules. To me, it's things like the uh, no meetings rule and uh, prioritizing fortitude inquiries. I can even tell it to include my portfolio, uh, pricing and availability. You, you can even do crazy things like um, have Jace check your Notion pages and use that information to answer your questions or, or draft emails. I don't use Notion, but if you do use it to manage your schedule, document and so on, this will be very handy. Also, uh, Jace learns your writing style automatically, like uh, what phrases, words you use often and how you like to start an email, but you can also provide a specific instructions as well. Now, since installing Jace uh, a few months ago, it's become a, such a useful tool and essential part of my daily email workflow. So here's how I've been using it. So basically every morning I start by asking Jace for a rundown of important emails that came in in the last 24 hours. Instead of checking every email manually, I can instantly get a clear summary of what needs my attention. It's particularly good at flagging client inquiries and time sensitive requests that I might have missed. And also questions like, um, have I missed any emails that are potentially important? Uh, really, really useful to make sure you don't miss anything crucial.
And also another prompt I use all the time is the follow-up detection. I simply ask any emails needing follow-up and Jace can check my entire inbox, um, identify as conversation that have gone cold and draft follow-up emails in my style. This is handy for staying on top of potential opportunities that I need to follow up on. I also like I can have Jace to do some research online for example, whenever I get an email from a, a potential client, I can ask it to research their company and products, check their social media and prepare a, a brief that helps me craft more um, personalized responses. This saves me a lot of time because I used to do this manually, which can be very, very time consuming. Also, even when I'm away from my desktop, I can use the uh, Gmail app to see the drafts that Jace made and just hit send or make some adjustments. So I've tried many AI email apps before, but I think I'm going to stick with Jace for a long time. And here's why. First of all, it's the only tool that I found that actually draft replies 24 seven before I even open my inbox. Most other AI assistants wait for you to open an email before starting to draft a response. But Jace works ahead of time. This means when I start my day, replies are already waiting for me to review, which is very, very helpful. Also, the level of customization is unmatched. While other apps have basic AI features, Jace lets me create detailed rules for how the AI should handle different types of emails. It's really useful to have this flexibility to, to control how it reacts to various types of emails. Just like how I set it up to automatically research companies that reach out to me and summarize their background. And the integrations are amazing as well. Unlike other email assistants that just look at your emails, Jace can pull context from your entire workspace. Um, it can be Slack, Notion, Google Drive, uh, which means when someone references a, a past project or a document, Jace can actually find and include that information in its responses. And by connecting the other tools you use, Jace can be you know, more than um, AI that only handles your emails, but also acts as a kind of like central hub for your work. And, and finally, the smart labeling is just awesome. How it automatically categorizes my emails based on their content and context is, is just incredible, um, especially for someone like me who uses the same email address for a different work and a project. It makes my life so much easier to have an assistant that sorts my emails for me. But you know, the learning curve might be slightly steeper than some other tools, but the payoff in terms of time saved has been definitely worth it. Um, if you're more than a simple AI assistant, this is perfect. All right, so if you're interested in trying Jace, you can start with their free trial. Plus, you can get 10% off forever using my code Xiaomi, which is in the description. So give it a try. They have a really straightforward setup process. Just connect your Google account and you're ready to go. They also have a 14 day money back guarantee, so you can really test it out to see if it works for you. So go check it out and let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching till the end and uh, I will see you in the next one. Bye.